Hello dear students, uh, today I am going to explain the concept of uh, programming in C. So the complete C language videos I am going to upload. So already important questions uh, I have uploaded in my channel. So you can make use of those questions. The complete subject videos I am going to upload. So today I am going to explain the concept of introduction to C and history of C. This is a very very important question. So now without wasting further time, so we are going to the concept directly. So now today just I am explaining introduction to C or history of C. So okay, this is one of the important question in your C language. So now in exam if you get what is C, okay, what is C or if you get uh, history of C, history of C or you may get like this introduction to C, introduction to C. So you have tried the same thing. So first I am explaining what is the meaning of C. So if anyone is asking what is C means you need to say C is a programming language. Okay. C is a programming language. C is a programming language. Okay. Now C is a programming language. So which is developed by Dennis Ritchie. Dennis Ritchie. Okay. In the year 1972. In the year 1972. So where he developed the C language? C language is developed at AT&T Bell Laboratories. AT&T Bell Laboratories. Okay. So Bell Laboratory. So you may get, sir, what is the meaning of AT&T? So before C language, we have so many different languages are there. Okay. Like COBOL, Pascal, so many different languages are there. So C is derived. Okay. In the year, so AT&T Bell Operators now, which is located in USA. Now see here, C is a programming language developed by Dennis Ritchie in the year 1972 at AT&T Bell Laboratories, which is located in USA. So this is one of the famous laboratory, which is located in America. So in the in this uh, laboratory, only most many of the programming languages got birth. Okay. So this is so you may get sir, what is the meaning of AT&T? So AT&T stands for American Telephone and Telegraph, American Telephone and Telegraph. Okay, American Telephone and Telegraph. So this is a famous laboratory. So before C, actually C is derived from C language. So before what is there? You know BCPL. Okay, BCPL. So what is the meaning of basic BCPL? Basic. Okay, basic combined combined programming language so so before C we are using what this language programming language which is developed by Martin Richard Martin Richards Martin Richards so remember C is e, C language is derived from the language called BCPL and B language C is derived from the language called BCPL and B language. So first B, BCPL language is there. From BCPL language to what is language is introduced? B language. From B language what language is introduced? C language is introduced. Okay. So B language is developed by Ken Thompson. B language is introduced by Ken Thompson. So this is very very important. So again I am repeating C is a programming language developed by Dennis Ritchie in the year 1972 at AT&T Bell Laboratories. It is called American Telephone and Telegraph which is located in America. So C language is developed, developed with the help of two languages called BCPL. So BCPL stands for Basic Combined Programming Language, okay, which is developed by Martin Richards. And B is a, another language which is developed by Ken Thompson. So with the help of these two languages, so the Dennis Ritchie introduced a one more language called C. So after B, which letter will come? C. So that is the reason the name of the subject is given as C. So this is the history of C language, okay. So now I'm going to explain. So why we are learning this subject? So if we if we learn this subject, where we are going to use this subject in our real life? So that is very very important. So you know you are learning so many technologies today, Java, .NET, Python. So many technologies which are available now. So what are the technology we are going to learn? So where these technologies which we are going to use in our life? So that is very very important. So now that I'm going to explain, that is called as applications of C. So application means where we are using this subject in our life. So that I am going to explain. So so original. So just once come back to the previous slide. So 
so here so originally we used to say c language so today everyone is saying c language what up the original name of c is nothing but and c okay what is the original name of c and c so this is very very important and c c sir you may get doubt what is the meaning of and c so one committee is formed in the year 1989 in the 1989 one committee is formed the committee name is and c c so the original name of c language is and c c so in a committee is formed they standardize the c language in the year 1989 so they given the approvals and everything they given in the year 19 89 so what is the meaning of ansi so ansi stands for american okay american okay national american national standard standard institute institute okay so this is the concept of ansi so you got a clarity now what is the original name of c language ansi c a committee is formed in the year 1989 so they finally they standardized the uh, language called c language so that time the language name is ansi c but today everyone is saying c language but in old days we used to say ansi c so this is about the c language so next when one uh, go to the concept of applications of c so what is the meaning of application so where we are using this language in our real life so applications of c so this is very very important so when we learn the c language so where we are going to use c language that i am going to explain so first if you learn the c language we can okay we can develop we can develop okay operating systems sir what is the meaning of operating system you know today we are using windows okay so most of the operating system you know unix linux etc so many operating systems are these are all operating systems are developed with the help of c language only now if you learn the c language you can also design you can also design mobile or pc related games mobile or pc related games pc related games so this is also one of the important point suppose today uh, whatever the games we are using so example in old olden days we are using the nokia Uh, phone so keypad phone in that snake game is there na the snake game so the snake game is developed with the help of c language so this is one of the example so if you do if you learn the c language you can design you can design what you can design language compilers language okay language compilers you know what is the meaning of compiler in the last semester you learn the meaning of compiler converting the uh, user instructions into machine understanding language in single step so that everything will be done so example ఇప్పుడు ఏం చేస్తాం మనం ఒక సి లాంగ్వేజ్ సపోజ్ దిస్ ఈజ్ వన్ హ్యూమన్ బీయింగ్ సో హియర్ దిస్ ఈస్ అ కంప్యూటర్ నో యూ నో ఆల్రెడీ కంప్యూటర్ అండర్స్టాండింగ్ లాంగ్వేజ్ ఇస్ బైనరీ లాంగ్వేజ్ సో వాట్ ఈస్ ద మీనింగ్ ఆఫ్ బైనరీ బైనరీ లాంగ్వేజ్ మీన్స్ ఎనీథింగ్ వీ ఆర్ సేయింగ్ దట్ షుడ్ బి ఇన్ ద ఫార్మ్ ఆఫ్ జీరో సెవెన్ వన్ బికాస్ కంప్యూటర్ అండర్స్టాండింగ్ ఫార్మాట్ ఈస్ జీరో సెవెన్ వన్ సో వాట్ యూజర్ ఈస్ గివింగ్ యూజర్ ఈస్ గివింగ్ వాట్ సి లాంగ్వేజ్ ఇన్స్ట్రక్షన్ సపోజ్ యూజర్ వాంట్ టు పర్ఫామ్ వన్ ఆపరేషన్ సో ఈ విల్ రైట్ ఎనీథింగ్ దట్ విల్ బి రిప్రజెంట్ ఇన్ ద సి లాంగ్వేజ్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ ఓన్లీ ఇన్ ఈ విల్ రైట్ వన్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ this program is given to c language okay the com- computer the computer will not understand this program what i written so after that inside the computer what will be there c language compiler will be there c language compiler so what this compiler is doing what is the program which we which we have written this will be received by the compiler and it will convert our okay c language program into binary language then after that the system will understand and immediately it will do some process after processing it will generate the output so you tell me output is also in the form of again in the binary so again from the binary it will convert into the user understanding format so that way it is doing so it means what uh, english to binary language and binary language it is understanding after that processing and finally it will generate the output output is again in the form of zeros and ones only so again the zeros and ones will convert into user understanding format so it means user understanding format to machine understanding format and machine understanding format to user interface so both the jobs will be done by the compiler now this kind of compiler so every language is having compiler suppose if you are learning the java so java technology so java is also having the java compiler suppose if you are learning the dot net so every language is having the their own compilers are there okay if you are learning even python also python is also having what its own compiler like c language also you are having compiler so c language is also called as one of the compiler based language means whatever the c language programs which we are going to write that all the programs are depends on 
compiler only this is one important point you to remember so whatever i'm saying here compilers this kind of compilers also you can design with the c language so next important point you need to remember sir if i learn the c language what we can do we can also solve the complex okay complex mathematical problems okay mathematical equations you know complex mathematical the numbers which are in the form of a plus i b or okay complex mathematical equations we can solve so this is one of the important point you need to remember so now i again repeat it so we can develop the operating system so operating system is you may get uh, only computer computer or okay mobile mobile operating system so all operating systems also you can design but today we are using android mobile phones so in android mobile phone operating systems are designed with java so in olden days we are using nokia or symbion os you know that all are designed with the c language only okay so now we can also develop mobile or pc related games and we can design the language compilers okay every program you know you know what is the meaning of compiler and also we can solve complex mathematical equations so these are the major advantages when you learn the concept of c so these are the very very important points you need to remember about the c now next not only this uh, you know already today we are using ms office yes or no what is ms office here so ms office is nothing but it is an application software so in in first year it you learned what is the different what are the different types of software are there application software system software so so these are operating systems and okay these are all called as uh, uh, system software system software so system software is also you can design as well as application software is also you can design when you so ms office you are using excel yes or no the important tool you are using excel excel spreadsheet you can also say spreadsheet so this is also designed with the c language only so you got a clarity now so with the help of c language we can de develop the system okay system software as well as application software so one more last important point i'm going to explain so now with the help of c language so with the help of c language what uh, okay already we covered now this point okay now so mobile or pc related now these are the important point. please subscribe my channel anu computer education to get further updates so the next video will be the very 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 important question what is the meaning of character set so how many character sets which are available in c language that i am going to explain so please follow my all the videos so once you follow my all videos you can come to know what i am explaining so you will be getting the complete clarity so once you write the notes so you'll get it so whatever the concept i explained that related notes also i'm giving in my channel so this is the notes you can if you want you can take the screenshot of this notes and later you can uh, refer so you can come to know what i explained and everything okay so once the screenshot is over so then i'm going to the next topic